Jack Thomas. We'll call it the new Vera Bradley. Today, the CEO gave us a one-on-one -on -one look at major changes coming to the Fort Wayne Company. They are changes that follow plummeting stock prices and a controversial move to ship Fort Wayne manufacturing overseas. News Channel 15's Adam Widener has a look at the future for Vera Bradley. I'm just outside Vera Bradley's new design center off of Lafayette Center Road and I-69. Inside, leaders unveiled new plans to reinvent the handbag and luggage design company, including new marketing, less cotton quilted fabrics, and more solids. I love Vera Bradley, but you don't make anything I can take to the office. That's what Vera Bradley CEO Rob Wallstrom's team has been hearing from customers. And the reason you'll soon see more solid colors in stores across the country. A year ago, 80% of its products were the traditional floral patterns and cotton quilt fabric. I would say that what you're seeing now is that our line will be about 50% what we call our signature cotton quilted business and 50% new. They're timely changes. Vera Bradley's stock has dramatically fallen since May of last year. Sales in traditional Vera stores down 22% the first quarter of this year. Products are now in more department stores, so in-store sales are up a little more than 4% in total, but online sales down 9.7%. Last March, Vera Bradley closed its manufacturing facility in New Haven, moving the work overseas, saying the move saves about $12 million a year. I'm looking back on that. What are your thoughts? The cost associated with it were almost 100% higher um, than the rest of our product. And so it was a very, very hard decision, um, but it was the right decision for the company long term. Still, a lot of positive energy and momentum flowing out of Vera's new state-of-the-art design center, optimistic toward a successful future. How do you turn around this ship? This next exciting chapter in Vera Bradley really starts with great product innovation, which you've had a chance to see some of the stuff that's coming out really attracting new customers to the business through distribution, being in department stores, and really marketing. In Allen County, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.